it's good to get out of the city every now and again. Slight it, right. Slight right, says Google, which is exactly what we're doing. Uh, we're getting out of the city, headed off to Surin Province. One of the things that I like about living in big cities like Bangkok is that I don't like owning a car. I, uh, uh, I can rent one whenever I need one, which is what I did today for our trip to Surin. And, uh, and, and I got a nice one. I mean, they I use Thai rent a car and they always give us pretty nice cars, but this one is, is a uh, brand new. It's uh, got 1,200 miles on it or 2,100 kilometers. It's a Toyota Cross, which is a, a blend between a sedan and an SUV. Very nice vehicle. And is kind of brand new. Handles beautifully. And it has that new car smell. Can you smell it? I just bought this GoPro that I'm experimenting with. And uh, let me know if the GoPro's picking up that new car smell. <laughs> it's going to be very cold up in the country, so Miss Bull Cow is wearing her fuzzy miniskirt. Imagine if you would a thousand years ago, you're a Khmer emperor. And this is your front yard. Now what I find particularly impressive about this archeological site, this Khmer archeological site, are the awesome lotus flowers. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? Now, speaking of lotus flowers, my girlfriend, Bua Cow, her name means white lotus flower. And I asked Bua Cow to accompany me here to Surin, ostensibly to visit some expat friends, and we did that. We went out to dinner, had a lovely time. But Bua requested, well, I wanna go visit this temple. But Bukau learned of this place when she was a little girl. It's a very important story to her. And she's never seen the place. She's never traveled to this part of the country. So Bukau learned of this, this special place. Uh, when she was a young girl in school, she heard the story from her teachers about this um, magical temple uh, uh, with, with a legend, a legend of a beautiful woman, a, be a beautiful princess who is awaiting the arrival of, I guess, like her Prince Charming. And he never came. Well, she turned into an angry snake and caused floods and all manner of problems. And that's reflected in a lot of the imagery here. There's a lot of snake imagery here. So that's all part of the story. And I wish I had more details to the story, given that Boo and I speak different languages. <laughs> we don't communicate quite as clearly sometimes on complicated stuff like mythology, but that's basically it. There was a, a beautiful princess who turned into a snake because of the failure of her lover to arrive and save her, and she became an angry female snake, causing all kinds of havoc. What's exciting, what's really gratifying to me, is just how meaningful this trip 
has become from Miss Buakau. <laughs> this morning, getting dressed, just you know, picking out the appropriate outfit was uh, was a fun and meaningful experience for. Her. You know, while I was looking forward to this trip to coming up and meeting my friends and having dinner with them all, this trip here to this temple has made this particularly special. Magnificent place. Come and visit it if you get a chance. Like I said, it's as all just as impressive as Angkor Wat, only a lot smaller, but the same style of construction by the same people. Um, you know, thousand a thousand years ago. It's an interesting place. And again, it turned into a much more meaningful experience for me just because I invited Buakau. You know, it, it changed the uh, the energy of the whole trip. I, I mean, I've been up here before, and my friend Marcus lives here, and I like to come out in the country and visit. And for some reason or other, I just got the idea, well, you know, invite Boo Cow along. And it turned into this great big, you know, dinner party for a bunch of expats from all over. The, the expats at that dinner table were from Sweden, Australia, Germany, myself, uh, an American, Marcus is Irish. Who else? We had a Kiwi, yeah, we had a New Zealander there as well. And, uh, and all our Thai wives and girlfriends. It was it was a wonderful event. But coming here with, with Miss Buakau to this beautiful site, turned this trip into something very special. You know, back when us boomers were wanting to be hippies, you know, going with the flow was a favorite saying. Go with the flow. You never know where it's gonna bring you. See you next time. Signing off from Surin, Thailand, near the Cambodian border. <laughs> Bukau, same as you? Yes, same my name, but not same color. <laughs>